Once the watchdog has been installed, it must be configured for use on your vehicle. Bullydog has provided a step-by-step -step setup wizard that will launch automatically the first time you install it in your vehicle. Please be aware that for this setup, you will need to know your vehicle's engine size, also called displacement, and its gross vehicle weight, or GVW. This information can usually be located on a sticker on the frame of the driver's door or in the vehicle owner's manual. Begin by ensuring that your key is in the run position. Once verified, press next on the watchdog to continue. The watchdog will determine your vehicle's communication protocol and then prompt you to select an engine size. Our vehicle's displacement is 3.5 liters, so we will leave this in the default position. Depending on your vehicle's engine size, you may need to adjust this value. When prompted, select your vehicle's weight using the GBW value you obtained earlier. If you plan to use the watchdog for performance testing, you may want to obtain a more accurate number by weighing the vehicle. Once that is complete, select your vehicle's fuel type. Today we are installing on a gasoline-powered truck. When using the driving coach software included in the watchdog, you can also set a fuel economy goal. Ensure that you are setting a reasonable goal for your vehicle. Adjusting the XL d cell sensitivity will determine how strict the driving coach is with its alerts and its grading. For most drivers, the medium sensitivity will be best. Once you have configured the driving coach, you are given the option to turn it on or off. Please note that this setting can be changed at any time if desired. Before completing the configuration, you are asked to confirm the information you have entered. If all the information appears correct, select Yes. You were then notified that the watchdog must learn the correct ranges of throttle and load for your vehicle. This is part of the configuration, but need not be done from this screen. At this point, you may exit the menus and return to the gauge screen. When you can do so safely, accelerate at full throttle for 2-3 to three seconds to complete the configuration.